I like to use Google Forms. They are the best thing since sliced bread. And my favorite way to make a Google Form is form.new. So I'm gonna to go to a new browser and I'm gonna type in form.new and you'll see it's going to just instantly start a new Google Form. It's untitled, so I'm gonna do a quick quiz. Yep, quick quiz and click up here in the top left so that those match. What color is red? Writing hoods hood. Now the problem with this is it's just a regular Google form. It's not actually a quiz. I did write the word quiz up in the title, but it's not a quiz. So when you look at this, you'll see I have no option to add feedback or to put a score on it. And also, I forgot to have it put their name on there, which if you forget to ask for student name and you're not collecting email addresses, you're not gonna later be able to know who submitted it. And I don't know about you, but it's so easy to forget. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use Quiz Helper. So I am here in my Google form and I'm gonna come up to the puzzle piece. And under the puzzle piece, I'm gonna choose Quiz Helper by Schoolytics. Schoolytics has sponsored this, but I have coded it. It collects no user data, no PII. It's totally safe to use. So go ahead and click on Quiz Helper by Schoolytics and choose Show Sidebar. This is gonna pop up the sidebar on the side and you're just gonna come down and you'll see the option to set up form defaults. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that and just wait a little bit, you're gonna see it's gonna add a few things to this form. So when I click on Quiz Helper by Schoolytics, what it's gonna do is it's gonna add a question for their first name, a question for their last name, and make them worth zero points, and they are going to be required, and it's gonna put it in its own section. Now that's really important because when you scramble the questions, it'll take the first question and make it the 10th question or somewhere random, and you don't want to say, what's your name, down at the bottom. So I usually take the first name, last name, and if you're a high school teacher, what class period are you in? You'll need to add that question yourself, and that way when I scramble the questions, they just scramble in that top section. So it might say what class are you in and then last name and then first name, but that usually doesn't bother me. So you can see here I have in this first section, I've got a section of questions and I'm gonna put the questions below it. Now you will see that it is now says answer key. So I'm gonna be able to put the answer and how many points that it's worth. I'm gonna say red, blue, green, yellow, green. And because it's multiple choice, I'm gonna go ahead and click the three dots and choose shuffle option order. So that's just gonna mean that red will not always be the right answer, won't always be first. So it'll shuffle those per student. You do need to go through each question that you have as multiple choice to shuffle those answer options. I actually don't have the option just in AppScript to shuffle those yet. Okay, so I'm gonna do the answer key. I'm gonna go back to the answer key. I'm gonna set answer feedback. If they got it wrong, please read the question carefully. Correct answer. Yes, it is red. Save. Done. All right, so now my Google form is all set to be a quick quiz. It is asking for the student's email address, it's asking for their first name, it's asking for their last name, and those three things are automated by Quiz Helper. It turns it into a quiz, so you don't have to go find it in the quiz settings, and it adds those questions for you, and they are required, and then it puts your questions into its own section so that when they scramble, they scramble the questions and don't mix it up with their name. Now if you click on the Click on the settings tab. You can see that it did indeed make this a quiz and it has done under responses that it's gonna collect email addresses. It does not allow response editing and under presentation, it's going to shuffle the question order and it's changed the confirmation message to your quiz has been submitted to your teacher 
please move on to the next assignment. So I hope these defaults and set up with the quiz helper by Schoolix will make it just a little bit faster and easier for you to make a quiz using Google Forms.